Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, we will see how to use a beautiful feature of Word called Style Separator. But before that, let's see what styles are. I have a main topic called Scope of Work and two subtopics called Hardware and Software. I want to make them look different. I don't want to do manual formatting, so I use heading styles. We have covered this in past. This is the main topic, so heading one. This is the subtopic, so heading two for both of these. Now I want this to be visible for me for navigation. So I go to view tab and choose navigation pane. In older version, it was called document map, which allows me to navigate across the document quickly. In this case, not very useful, but in large documents, extremely good. Another common thing we want in formal documents is we want a table of contents, which can now be done very quickly by going to references and table of contents. What basically it does is picks up anything which has heading styles applied. We have heading styles from level 1 all the way up to level 9. Table of contents is created automatically. All this is nice, but I want one extra refinement now. I want this paragraph to start here. The word video provides a powerful way. I want it to appear right next to the word hardware. And if I try to do that, notice what happens. I'm just deleting that paragraph mark there. And to make it visible, I'm going to show hidden characters. This is the paragraph mark. Now, if I delete it, all these become a single paragraph. And then the heading to style gets applied to the whole paragraph. And that doesn't look nice. The table of content has not updated itself right now. But if I do update it, it will look really bad. This is not what we wanted. So let's undo it. What we really wanted is this should continue to have heading to the second paragraph should continue to have normal style, but rather than physically being present on two separate lines, visually they should start in the same row or line. In effect, what we are really saying that this paragraph mark should behave itself from a functional point of view, but it should not exist from a visual point of view. And that sounds a little complicated. But Word has made it very simple by creating a special thing called a style separator, which essentially makes that paragraph mark invisible. So let's see how to do it. This button is not available by default, so you need to add it to the menus. Now, these three things which you see on the top are called quick access toolbar. You can add your own stuff here. So I'm going to right click on the ribbon, go to customize quick access toolbar. This shows the buttons which are available by default. This shows popular commands. Unfortunately, this command has no chance of being popular. It is not even known. So we go to all commands. The command we are looking at is called style separator. Now, unfortunately, this is a very long list. And if I try to type S-T-Y-L-E, it doesn't work. It only accepts the first character. So S-T-Y-L-E is towards the end of the list starting with S. So I'm going to start typing T and then go upwards and I will find somewhere very quickly this thing called style separator. I will add this and then click OK. So this is our style separator guy. Now notice where my cursor is. Actually, it can be anywhere in this particular phrase. And then I click on style separator and see what happened. It sort of replaced the regular paragraph mark. And then the second paragraph, which was visually on the next line, came on the same line. Now, because the hidden character visibility is on right now, it's looking like this. Let me sh shut it off. And we'll try the same thing for software. Again, click there and say this. Now, notice this has not affected our document map or navigation pane nor has it affected our table of contents. So it gives you best of both worlds and allows you to have documents where multiple types of headings, in this case, heading two and normal style, coexist visually in the same line. That is the purpose of using style separators. The net result is it creates more professional looking documents with very little extra effort. I hope you found this useful. I'll be back with some more useful stuff very soon. Thank you.